Okay, guys, here we have a Wing Chun guy. And look at that. That's our Taiwanese version of fight commentary breakdowns. He just checked the kick and he's going to test out the Wing Chun. So we're probably going to have to watch this at slower speed to catch all the Wing Chun trapping and all this other stuff. So one thing to know that you have to pay attention to is Wing Chun is supposed to be a very forward momentum type of martial art, or at least theoretically. And I definitely don't see our coach backing up too much, right? So that's one of the things. If you get pressured, you got to find entries and angles. That's something that I think you see a lot of Wing Chun people not do correctly. So anyways, guys, we'll analyze the moves specifically once we slow it down. But obviously, the coach is doing pretty well, man. Yufei, our Taiwanese fight commentary breakdown, has chin checked a few times, twice, I think, with his... High kicks. I don't think the Wing Chun coach is too prepared for high kicks. Oh, that was pretty cool. He grabbed his throat and shoved him. So, oh, it's kind of unfair to have the MMA guy have bigger gloves, non five finger gloves, and sort of do some of this grappling. So there is a little bit of the gloves kind of getting in the way, but it's okay. At least. The gloves are in favor of Wing Chun guy, right? So there's no Wing Chun people saying, but, 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 but he didn't have the right gloves. So you face passing. And obviously this Wing Chun guy, he got a kneel shield, but he doesn't know too much what to do to avoid ground and pound. So is he going to go for that straight ankle lock? Is he going to go for that? Yep, he's going for that straight ankle lock. Yep. Oh, Wing Chun guy tried to use the um, calcaneus bone of his, I guess you'd call it the heel bone to... To chop down on our Taiwanese fight commentary breakdowns. So, obviously the lack of five finger gloves is getting in the way of our Taiwanese fight commentary breakdowns. So, but I guess that was it. 50% speed, guys. So, checking a kick, right? That was a cross. So, Wing Chun guy, look at how he holds his hands, right? And then... See, you see that? There, There's definitely a lot of hand pairing. And then you see that chin check right there? That kick probably would have landed if this were a real fight. And then, oh, I, di I didn't catch that spin kick. Look at him coming back, you see? he's The Wing Chun guy coming back with some really cool combos. The issue is some of those little smacks, I don't know how much damage they would have done, even if it were thrown at full force. But... At least we see Wing Chun, right? It's not like, oh, it doesn't look like Wing Chun. This just looks like kickboxing. It's a little grappling exchange. So I want to see Taiwanese fight commentary breakdowns put on MMA gloves. Look at him. Great combo. Okay, he connected with a roundhouse kick to the body. That's um, Taiwanese fight commentary breakdown has done Taekwondo, I believe. So we see some hints of Taekwondo in his kicks too. So here we have... This sort of wrestler position, headlock position, snap down position, whatever you call it. And so, interesting. Coach lets him up. And, ooh, I do notice one thing. Um, Wing Chun coach, his hands drop completely sometimes when he's trying to parry the lead hand. And that's why, that's why Taiwanese fight commentary breakdowns twice was able to chin check him with a high kick. That makes sense now. That makes sense. Now, when he parries the lead hand down, his lead hand never comes back up. So this is something he could definitely work on. I'm not saying his Wing Chun doesn't work, but he definitely has certain bad habits. And I'm going to call out the, the wooden dummy that he hits, man. That builds so many bad habits. I don't care if you guys love the wooden dummy. It builds the worst habits ever. Because, again, the wooden dummy is not hitting you back. So you're, you're, you're hitting it with your hands in positions that you wouldn't do when you're in a real fight. So here's a student of the Wing Chun guys. So Taiwanese fight commentary breakdowns is still with bigger gloves. And this time they're going a little heavier. So this student also, look at that. I like the frames, but he took a hook to the face. Another proof that a lot of the Wing Chun frames can't block a hook, right? Your, your, um, your two forearm bones aren't enough to block a hook. No matter how much you try to cope saying that you're bone framing your angle. That was another example of that. So, 
Yeah, they got to learn the helmet block, as you call it, where you um, basically your elbow is completely bent. And it's almost like uh, it's like the the sharp part of your elbow. So he did hit him back with a. OK, there we go. So Taiwanese fight commentary breakdowns sometimes drops his hands, too. Right. And he gets punished for that, too, especially in this sparring session. Oh, that was pretty cool. That was like a trap and a hit. That was really great. We're definitely going to slow this down, too. Mm. I think I'm going to call this promising, very promising Wing Chun. We'll watch this in slow motion. See, so notice Taiwanese fight commentary breakdowns also drops his lead hand. Now, he could be... It's more... He's, he might be a little scared of getting taken down, right? So that's why his hand drops a little. So I don't think it's necessarily a bad habit for him. It could be. I don't know. Because if you remember the sparring he did with the coach, right... Notice what happened. It went to the ground a few times. So maybe he's just remembering that. And maybe he's also trying to bait the Wing Chun guy to come in, right? See, look at that. Pulls his head back. And that's how he caught the Wing Chun guy with the hook, right? See? He baited him to overextend slash, right? Linger his hands, right? Like, I guess that's another bad habit from both the wooden dummy and Chi Sao. You linger your hands away from your face. So notice the Wing Chun guy did do that helmet block I was just talking about. But it was the wrong timing for it. So. I really, really like this type of sparring, man. Super promising. If Wing Chun keeps doing this, we're going to see some cool... Anderson Silva slash Tony Ferguson stuff. So. Hmm. Body jab, man. I didn't see one body jab by Taiwanese fight commentary. Right now, or or um, by our uh, Wing Chun guy. Like, could have gone to the body a few times. So that's another thing, I think, learning from their sparring. Just remember, don't get tunnel vision and go for the body. I had a chest game in my chest tournament. Nice. That was the hit that we saw. Right there. Good replay. See, trap and a hit. Look at that. His hand was a little too hyperextended, so I don't know how much damage it would have done in a real fight, but it's okay still. We give it credit. So I had a I had a chess tournament game where I had so much tunnel vision that I gave away a win because I didn't look at the other side of the board. I could have promoted a pawn and like forgot about it because I was only focused on the other side. <laughs> it's really funny. I, Anyways, yeah, I'll show you guys that game eventually if you guys follow my chess channel. Okay, so here's a third one, a third Wing Chun guy. Notice, finally, they're both wearing the same gloves, right? So this time, there's no glove excuse. There we go. Nice. You could almost call that a Wing Chun technique. Taiwanese fight commentary breakdowns pulled off a Wing Chun technique. So. Oh, nice jab by Wing Chun guy. There we go. Yeah, you'd, you'd expect a lot more intercepting and... Just clashing of of the gloves mid-range, right? Because, again, a lot of them are trying to parry, trap, grab, etc. So, head movements working out mostly for Taiwanese fight commentary breakdowns. Look at that. Um, if you remember Mark Phillips' Wing Chun, he had a lot of good head movements. So, I wish Wing Chun people adopted some of Mark Phillips' head movement. So... I guess this is this is boxing rules, no kicks. Yeah, because some of that head movement's a little wild, dude. Taiwanese fight commentary breakdowns eats jabs up, man. Nice angle. That was a great angle he found. <laughs> That's the boxing way. If my head movement dipped a little low, I'll just uh, I'll just hug. Great. Right? Only works for boxing. So this one, I don't think we need to slow it down. But um, very good props to the Wing Chun guy. He does have a reach advantage, but still props to him for being able to spar in boxing range with an MMA guy. Oh, that was a great pullback. Oh, there we go. There we go. He went to the body. He went to the body. Notice, guys, even though the sparring's fast, they're not going too hard, right? This is good sparring. Like, you can hit with your fingers not closed. Like, that's an example of it. 